15 years married and my wife cheated on me with her boss at work she says she didn't want to do it. Posted this elsewhere but the comments were locked, looking for some perspective on what could be considered cheating or having an affair. I'm stuck on, she didn't want this to happen so I shouldn't be upset about anything, and it's really keeping me from processing. I'm having a hard time thinking of her as having no agency in this relationship for months. Any outside perspective would be helpful. Thank you. My wife made friends with her boss without telling me anything about it. He hit on her relentlessly and she wouldn't return any kind of overt flirting but was still nice to him, watched TV shows he recommended, sent him a note of how she appreciated him spending time with her, gave him a pet name. She admitted to me that she liked having his attention. Eventually, it came to a head and she told him she had a crush on him but she was married and she couldn't act on anything. She told him about when she was pregnant and took a trip to a winery, she wanted to, but she didn't drink any of the wine. She told him this situation was similar. She told me she didn't really have a crush on him and this was an attempt to let him down easy. He told her he had the same feelings about her and began pressuring her into a physical relationship. He would regularly spend time with her and demand hugs and kisses. She told me she would have a fond response to his pressure and let kisses and hugs happen. She attributed this to a learned pattern of fawning when bullied by her brother in her childhood. He kept visiting her and pressing her for more and more contact. He got her to sit regularly on his lap, where he would touch her all over her body and use his fingers. She told me that he pretended to be her work girlfriend, and continued to accede to her requests for fear of further aggression, job consequences and his power and being exposed. According to her, she never touched him other than hugs and kisses, which she claims were always just kisses on the lips, and he initiated all intimate contact. This lasted for about 10 months before she found out he was doing the same things with another co-worker. She let it slip to one of his peers that he was in relationships with subordinates. She told me right before she had to have meetings with her HR. During the course of their relationship she, she cleaned her private parts and legs so that she would be soft for him. Would take his calls outside of work waited after hours at work for him to visit her met with him for a coffee date exchanged text messages that she immediately deleted he told her that he would meet with him for intimacy if conditions were different. All of this, she said she did because he pressured her and she felt like she had to do as his girlfriend. I stood by her side, got her a lawyer, and fought her HR to keep her from employment consequences. Eventually, there was an investigation and they fired the boss and removed him from this field of work. TLDR My wife says she was forced into a relationship with her boss and I'm having trouble excusing her behavior. Can I still be upset if she did things she didn't want to do? Your wife had a consensual affair for a long time, got angry when she found out she wasn't the only private part he used his fingers on and asked for your help to bail her out. The affair only ended when she found out about the other women. Yeah, you're not going to tell me that it was so hard to get him to stop and she couldn't do anything about it, and then the moment she finds out he's doing it to another woman too, she has a plan laid out and executes it. It wasn't a big, convoluted plan. If she really didn't want him to go on for 10 months, almost a year, come on, and she really couldn't find another job, it wouldn't have taken her 10 months to come up with this. She wanted him, she liked him, and now she got jealous and retaliated by getting him fired and taken out of the labor field, is that even possible? Is it such a small field? New man how many girls do you know that let them use their fingers, but only limited to that in kissing and cuddling? Come on OP, don't be naive, they are telling you the truth in fits and starts, you can be 10, 000% upset. I would leave my wife if she did this to me. You won't believe the story he's telling you, will you? She was 100% having an affair with this man, found out she had competition, and let it all crash down on him. Unfortunately for her lying body, HR got involved and she had to scramble a story together because it was all going to have to come out if she wanted to keep her job. Read what you wrote out loud and see if it sounds plausible. Better yet, go to any random bar and tell the story to the bartender and some random working class dude. When they get done laughing, go home and have a conversation with that guy in the mirror about your cheating wife. Your wife is a cheater. Maybe she convinced you, and HR, that she was some helpless victim, but I'm not buying it. She found out he was fooling around with another co-worker and suddenly she let, it slip to one of his peers that he was in relationships with subordinates. Do you really believe her story? Update. Update, had a heart-to-heart -heart with WW. It was a Darvo session. From previous post, I'm reading books to better understand infidelity and she saw what I was reading. She flipped out and started abusive language and lashing out. We sat down so I could explain what's been going on with me. I told her calmly, 
I need to understand more about betrayal and affairs so I can decide how I was betrayed. Then I can grieve and deal with it. And hopefully move past it. She told me I'm reading the wrong books and that's not her story. I asked her point blank, was I not betrayed? She looks at me stone-faced, no. Okay there's the D then she launched into, you are pathetic for reading that book without talking to me first. Pathetic for not moving heaven and earth to reassure me you are not leaving this family. Pathetic. Okay a there's the A then comes, you forever scarred me and this relationship with this. You insisting you were betrayed invalidates everything I did to survive what I went through. I think it's easier for you if you make yourself a victim and hate me. Hey O. Oh. R to the V to the O. Oh. You need to leave this incredibly toxic person. Making this out to be your fault shows zero remorse or responsibility. She is not sorry and it will happen again. I read your other post. I would divorce her immediately. I would have done it back then. She did all that because she wanted to. Don't believe anything different. She does not want reconciliation and probably is not a good candidate to receive this gift from you. She is not showing any guilt, shame or remorse. OP, I'm totally baffled that she doesn't see the betrayal here. Like, in what world could you live in that you don't think I was betrayed in any way? RP, that's your problem. You assume she sees betrayal. The biggest thing you have to understand about adults that what you and majority of people see as betrayal, she sees herself as the victim. Just like there is people out there thinking it is completely normal to walk into a store and take stuff and leave without paying. Or people going to a camping store and getting completely set up for camping. Go camping. Then take it back used and want their money back. These people have low morals and entitlement. Best to not try and understand. I like you understand Darvo and it is getting to your wife. But if she is not showing remorse and not begging you to stay, are you okay with that? A year, five years, twenty years from now will you still be hurting from her betrayal? Read a story today on this sub about a guy still hurting from betrayal thirty years ago. You will never trust her again. Understand you have kids, but they are and will be affected. You can search for survey results on that. Kids are better off in two separate stable environments than living with toxic parents. Your wife needs to change her attitude towards you to save this marriage. Good luck. Hope you keep us updated. Since you are delving into research material, see what you can learn about what is called trauma bond. Your rational mind knows that this is a drawn out train wreck and that your wife is not fit to be anybody's partner. She won't even accept responsibility for her actions, so she will never take steps to address her issues and work through them. You need to stop waiting for her to see the light. She has seen it, and immediately flipped the switch to off. Save yourself. Save your children from having a bitter, sad, shell of a human as a father, you all deserve better. Accept her, and I hope she gets exactly everything she deserves.